So what's in a name? Well, to many of us is a big part of who we are, right? How people perceive us to be. Sometimes we even redefine the conventions that come with our names and own it with our personality and character. After all, it is something that we take with us for the rest of our lives. But unfortunately, there are some who end up with the shorter end of the stick when it comes to names because their parents may have taken a little too much liberty in being creative or may have been drunk when naming their child. And here's the thing, it's not all harmless. Several experts and studies argue on the effects of naming a child a little too creatively, how that it can actually affect them psychologically and socially. In some of these studies, it claims that it does a lot more harm than good, especially when the child is placed in a setting such as a school, because you know, kids pick on other kids, at least a little bit. So today in this video, we're gonna count down to the 10 most insane and crazy names that parents have given their children. And we're gonna let, just let you decide if they were a little too liberal or a little too drunk. Number 10, Nutella. Of course, who doesn't love Nutella? Who doesn't love the sweet, hazelnut chocolate goodness. In fact, it is after all one of the most popular spreads in the world. And unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, in January of 2015, a judge in France did not share the same enthusiasm of a baby girl's parents over the spread because the parents named the child Nutella and the judge had to overturn this decision made by the parents. The judge says that naming the baby girl Nutella is contrary to the girl's interest to be wearing a name that can only lead to teasing and the judge ruled instead to change the child's name to Ella, which he deemed was perfectly reasonable. Number nine, Khaleesi. The popularity of the Game of Thrones series, both on TV and in books, have undeniably swept the generation off his feet. With diverse and well-written characters, it comes as no surprise that many of the series fans would consider naming their child or children after any one of them. One of which is Khaleesi. While it is used more as a title than a proper name in the series, it stands as an equal to one of the most common names you can give a princess. On the surface, it, it does kind of roll off your tongue, it has the kind of exotic and otherworldly vibe. And considering the fact that this is such a popular series and such a popular name, if you're battling for something unique, this should not even be on your list. Number eight, Messiah. In the history of names, picking ones from the Bible is pretty common practice, especially to devout Christians and Catholics. Biblical names like uh, Joshua, Elijah, and Mary are widely acceptable in almost any country around the world. After all, who would not want their children named after saints and holy individuals? However, in 2000 in three, a Tennessee couple may have been a little overzealous when they named their child Messiah. This all happened in the middle of a messy divorce. The couple were arguing about whose last name the child should have, and seemingly a simple issue that can be easily resolved by the judge. However, it took a turn for the interesting when the judge had discovered that the child was given the first name Messiah. The judge then stated that labeling this child Messiah places an undue burden on him that as a human being, he cannot possibly fill. Pointing out that the word Messiah is a title that is held only by Jesus Christ. Fortunately for the parents, and maybe unfortunately for the child, the appeals court decided that the judge had made his ruling based on his own religious beliefs. So the court then decided to allow the parents to keep the name Messiah for their child. Number seven, cyanide. In 2016, a Welsh court had one of the most bizarre cases to have ever been presented to them. After social workers became aware of a terribly poor choice in names given to fraternal twins by their mother, she was asked by the judge why she had named them preacher and cyanide. While Preacher was an odd choice, the judge found it as a perfectly acceptable name for a male child. On the other hand, cyanide was a bit far-fetched to say the least. Especially naming a little girl after one of the most dangerous poisons known to man. It's a little dark and maybe a little damaging to the kid as she grows up. And when the mother was asked why she decided to name her little girl, you know, poison, she replied that it sounded pretty and that it was the poison that killed Hitler, which she thought was great. But after it was found that the mother had had a history of mental illness, drug abuse, and abusive relationships, the judge revoked the mother's right to name any more children or to care for them. As a result, she lost custody of all her children. Number six, billion. Sometimes really bizarre names do catch on and will become even quite common. For example, names like Cash and Rich are just two of the names that were once considered pretty odd. But as of 2014, names referencing to money have been taken to the extreme. Names like Billion and Million have joined the ranks of Cash and Rich. And, and by this, I don't mean a short for Richard. I mean, literally, the whole name is, is Rich. And while there seems to be no objection yet about children being named a billion by their parents, I'm kind of afraid this trend may continue on until someone thinks of something new and trendy, like, like I don't know, trillion? But I guess if you call billion, you, you could be Bill for short. Number five, Adolf Hitler. In 2008, a couple from New Jersey made national headlines after insisting that a local shop right spell out their child's full name on a cake. Well, that sounds pretty reasonable, unless your kid's name 
name is Adolf Hitler Campbell. After this broke, the child's name became a public spectacle, and the couple's other children, eight of them, were taken away by social services. And their other names might not be as bad, but they're not good. For example, Henrik Hans and Joyce Lynn and Aryan Nation. Yep. Yeah, true story. Number four, Prince William. To some, naming their child after the popular British monarch is a brilliant idea. There is, of course, the prestigious, though not official, title of prince appended to it. Sadly, for a couple in France back in 2015, a French court denied the choice of naming their child Prince William. The judge who handled the case said that the name, though prestigious, would bring a lifetime of mockery and ordered the parents to choose another name. And the story did not end there. The couple agreed with the judge and they promptly renamed the child child Mini Cooper, which was also denied by the judge. Number three, and try to keep up with this, Talula does the hula from Hawaii. In New Zealand, a divorced couple fighting for custody of their child faced an extremely angry judge before the arguments even started. It was primarily because of their child's given name, Talula does the hula from Hawaii. The judge blasted the couple's decision to cripple the poor girl with a social disability and handicap unnecessarily. In his decision to deny both parents custody, the judge noted that the child refused to reveal her name to her friends and instead just asked them to call her K. Thankfully, after the judge's decision to place the child under court guardianship, she was given a new name that did not make her the most picked on girl in school. Number two, and you know this is a millennial. For real? Still in New Zealand, Pat and Sheena Wheaton were absolutely surprised and inspired when they realized that they were for real having a baby. As if some stroke of genius added the two, they both decided in order to preserve the surprise surprising moment to name the child for real. But unfortunately for them, and again fortunately for the child, the New Zealand government denied them from registering the child's name because it contained a digit. Holding on to their convictions, they told the local press in an interview that they will still call their child by their chosen name and will bring it up in court soon. But in the meantime, in order to have the child registered, they went with their second choice of names, Superman. Finally, number one, and you know this is going to be good, the at symbol. In China, a couple was denied by the government when they chose to name their child that, that, that circle a thing, yeah. They argue that their choice was a symbol of their undying love for the baby and emails, I don't know. What's even stranger is that China does not use a Western alphabet, so using the symbol would cause a great deal of confusion. And to tell you guys why they chose this name, to put it in some context, the Chinese would read the symbol with a drawn out T, so the at symbol in Chinese would also be kind of like Ai Ta, which sounds like the word love him in local dialect. But nevertheless, the government ordered them to pick a new name. And I'll tell you guys a little story about my name. Of course, my my name now is legally Michael or Mike or Mikey, whatever you guys want to call me. But before, when I first moved to the US, uh, I had a Chinese name. It's spelled out X-I-N-G. And my parents, I remember this conversation, were there with my second grade teacher, Miss Lei, and uh, and my parents asked her and they said, should we give Xing, which is that's how you pronounce it in Chinese because the X is S-H, should we give Xing an English name? It's easier to pronounce. And my teacher said, and I remember this, she said, nah. X-I-N-G is fine. Yeah, really, Miss Lei? So for the next 10 years of my life, every time there was roll call, it was like Chase Anderson, uh, Ronnie Baker, uh, X-Zing, X-Zing Chen. And then everybody in the class would just be like, where's, where's X-Zing? Where's this X-Zing Zing guy? And I had to be like, it's, it's Xing. And for some reason, why, why is this? Why can nobody say, repeat after me, Xing? Is that really hard? Nah, not that hard. I mean, it kind of sounds like the name S-H-A-N-E, right? But then the teachers, for, for some reason, just cannot say that word. So every time they'd be like, Zing, um, and I would say, no, 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 it's Xing. Zing? No, no, Xing. Like, sh Xing. Xing? Uh, Okay, you know what? Call me whatever. And this really did not help when crossing signs started appearing across the country. And yeah, that was just a whole other nightmare. But anyway, that's all in the past and did no damage to me at all psychologically. It's just that every time I see a crossing sign, I wanted to go up and punch it. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.